Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Scott with American Startup. Been missing the past couple of days because I've been so busy and dealing with government stuff, and you know, and just you know, sometimes building a business drains you and it just stretches you out, and you need to take a day off and unwind a little bit. So anyway, that's what had to happen. I uh, got some things done though, uh, some uh, positive steps forward. We are going to get the other half of the wrap put on Sunday. Uh, right now it's actually Friday, April 1st, so no way for fooling. We're getting it put on Sunday. Um, but uh, anyway, got that done, um, or getting that done this weekend. Also got the front part of the wrap printed up so I can stick it I'll probably stick it either Sunday night or Monday um, have a chance the wrapper um, wrap the sides but the front I'll probably do it myself I can actually lay some vinyl but it's not not like he can um, anyway um, I'm hoping that the 6th Wednesday the 6th will be the day that we open uh, it's just not gonna happen Monday uh, it looks like I'll get my health inspection on Monday. I did complete the forever long course uh, for to be a Texas certified uh, food management, whatever. Anyway, just, uh, I mean, it is good stuff. I mean, I did learn some things. I roll my eyes at it, but it's probably a good thing that that people do need to understand, you know, what, you know, keeps the public safe even though the libertarian side of me really doesn't like anything government ran uh anyway that's not it doesn't matter uh, you still got to comply and follow the rules uh as you can see i got the brewers in yesterday uh, i got the one with the hot water spigot gotta have that for several of our drinks got the iced tea brewer that's that's extremely important because we're going to have a lot of tea Sweet tea, regular tea, flavor tea, watermelon, coconut, peach, there's something else. But the point is teas, uh, from my business plan, I learned that teas are actually very good, that they're a very good uh, ROI, return on investment. So, low cost. I love iced tea. We're going to keep it around and we're going to sell lots of it. So that's where we're at. I, ha I did buy a square register. And I've been spending the past few days programming that and figuring that baby out. You're figuring out how to make Square communicate with QuickBooks. Um, because I'm going to use QuickBooks for the accounting system and the Square for the inventory, the clock in and out system. And, um, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Clock in and out inventory cash register point of sale i mean that's the basic things and then we'll be using quickbooks as the accounting system and i'll also be running payroll through quickbooks because i'm familiar with quickbooks i use the quickbooks online that's the one i like it's simple so simple even i can use it so if i can do it you can do it for sure because i hate accounting but you have to do it you have to be on top of it every single day that's absolutely important if you're not on top of your accounting every single day and know exactly where you're at, you can count on one thing, and that's not being in business for very long. That's just, I'm just telling you that from experience. Learn those lessons the hard way. So, anyway, that's where we're at. I will actually be done putting this all together by the end of the weekend. Uh, don't get to open on Monday, but I still get to open next week. I'm excited about that. Um, but... I want to make sure that I open right. Uh, I did go and try. I cannot find any lids for. There's a big old lid and cup situation going on, especially with the supply chain issues. So uh, I have a bunch of 32 and 44 ounce cups and no lids, and I can't find lids anywhere. And then I finally found some 32 ounce cups with lids today at one of the suppliers in town, and when I got there and saw the bill, I had to refuse the order i mean it was ridiculous i think it was a case of cups a case of 32 ounce cups 500 cups and a case of lids which is like 500 lids and it was like 180 dollars i mean <laughs> 
and she said the prices are about to go up again so i i hope that i find a good solution for that issue because that's not going to help me sell tea if my cups are more expensive or a lot well they're already more expensive but if they're substantially more expensive because well we have to we have to pass that cost on to the customer we have to make we basically basically what we're trying to do is take all of our costs which you gotta cut the the cup the lid the straw the potential napkin uh condiments you gotta figure all of that in there and if one piece of that puzzle goes up guess what the whole price has to go up that's just the way it works but there comes a point where the customer it gets a point where customer goes no I, you know i can do without that actually i can't pay that and then that's that's uh that's a big problem it's a whole other problem that i think this whole country's gonna gonna face but anyway uh, we'll, we'll all see um i'm hoping not but i'm prepared for it if it happens uh you know anyway so uh the good news is we're trucking along we are going to get this sucker open next week still falling behind schedule but uh you just gotta come up with each uh with each obstacle that pops up you just gotta figure it out you know i i'll tell you what i dreaded is this morning i spent five hours glued to my computer because my only my only chore today was to make sure i got this stupid or oh, excuse me that i got this food management certificate because i had to get it and that's the last thing i had to do to comply with the health department so now i can get my health inspection can't open up without a health inspection so um all right so that's it for today uh i will update everybody tomorrow i'll be working on some more of the things on the inside of this truck um and sunday the other part of the wrap goes on that's going to be exciting i can't wait to see it i mean it's going to look really good it's already catching a lot of attention just this the one side of the wrap being done I'm, I'm telling you there's not a person that drives by or walks by that i can't that i don't see staring at it that's awesome <laughs> all right see you guys tomorrow bye